In November of 2005, I decided I wanted to replicate the bike kitchen in my garage. And so I bought a, book, a bunch of tools, or not even that many tools. I bought some tools and I had a, bought a box of cheap wine and some Mexican cookies and every Wednesday night, I opened my garage on Avenue 42, which is just a couple blocks up the road. For, I opened it up and I called it the bike oven. That's real cool? Yeah. yeah. It's still okay. Oh my god. Okay. Big okay. rest. And at the time, I didn't know much of anything about working on bikes, uh, other than how to take the front wheel off and change a flat tire. This is how you do it. So I created a place where it was either my personality or my ideals were allowed to just kind of be fully fleshed out. It was very egalitarian. And uh, then it just took off from there because of the, the power of the scene in Los Angeles and the, the strength of the community to give skills away to people like me that didn't really know much of anything. There's a really great community of people that are willing to feed and grow anything you want to do that has to do with bicycling. <laughs> You always get fed at the bike cover. Well, I'm Harv, and I'm one of the uh, oldest members of the bike cover. In fact, other than Joseph, the founder of the bike cover, I've been there longest. Uh, I've been there since day number one. We work together. Uh, if he's out of a, a certain size tire that we have, we give him a tire and vice versa. We borrow each other's tools. I just like riding bikes. I've ridden bikes since I was 12 years old in LA. When I was 12, I was pedaling all over LA. Never quite got over it. So you want to get involved in cycling or you want to just help someone out. Uh, it helps to be educated. If you're not, that's cool. It's just going to take a little bit more time. You're going to have to work with what you have. It helps to have some excess money to blow on uh, bus fare, train tickets, uh, gasoline. It helps to have uh, a space that you're in charge of or can use. You have to start somewhere. And I mean, I started in my garage, not knowing how to fix bikes, telling people that I was going to help them fix their bikes. Doesn't take much, right? But like I said, a little bit of free time, some resources, some money or capital, and a space you control. And you can pretty much get it. Everybody again, if well, I guess they don't even want five dollar a frame, car. No, I can't do that. Really? Yeah, we got we got that rid of that little in the yard, and they stole a brand new huppy because they thought it looked worth more. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, even a huppy has to look like that for them not to want it. Shit sucks, fool. Fucking give me a camera.